everyone, welcome back to another Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous video where today we are going to be debunking or finding out whether or not the Scorpius Rex was in fact part human. Now I know when I say that, that's a crazy crazy idea, but do hear me out throughout this video as we do have partial evidence to suggest that it does have some form of human DNA, and hopefully you guys can see what I mean by this. But before we get into today's video, I just want to urge you guys to press that subscribe button if you haven't yet done so. We are getting closer to that 60,000 subscriber mark, and it actually turns out that 88% of you guys who watch my content aren't actually subscribed, so it would mean a lot to me if we could lower that percentage down to at least 80% sooner rather than later, but let's get into today's video. Quickly before we start, we are just going to say there is a season 3 spoiler warning just here, so do bear that in mind if you haven't yet seen season 3. However, the Scorpius Rex, the way we've seen the Scorpius Rex at walk and do any other things really, it's very very humanoid. There was one scene that specifically stood out to me which is the thumbnail of today's video. You can see when the lightning does crash down, whilst the Scorpius Rex is attacking the kids, you can see that it kind of roars up to the sky, very similar to how a werewolf in fictional art would sort of roar with the moon behind it, if you know what I mean. It's very similar to something like that. Now a werewolf is part wolf, part human, so the Scorpius Rex could be part dinosaur or part human because it's doing a similar, you know, method, power pose type of thing. And I don't know about you guys, but to me personally, the Scorpius Rex doing just that makes it look rather humanoid and very, very strange looking. I've seen a few people on Twitter and my comment sections saying that, that the Scorpius Rex looks very humanoid as well and if there is any human DNA. And not only that, but there was one specific scene again when the Scorpius Rexes do die from Jurassic Park falling on them we can see in this screenshot that it has three claws. Now I don't know if this is what I'm about to say it is, but it looks rather similar to an opposable thumb in my opinion, meaning that it can pick up, carry things and throw things about. Now I don't know full research about this, but I don't really know any dinosaurs that had opposable thumbs. I'm pretty sure it was only the humanoid type of creatures such as chimpanzees, Neanderthals, Homo sapiens, you know, only these type of creatures had opposable thumbs to be able to move stuff about. And personally to me, I, again, I don't know about you guys, but that looks like an opposable thumb that the Scorpius Rex does actually have. So it must have had some form of monkey DNA or human DNA in order to have and grow that opposable thumb. Now again, I'm not going to stick on the opposable thumb theory because I don't know if it is opposable thumb. It could be anything because other screenshots don't suggest it's even there. The screenshot where it does show that the Jurassic Park has fallen on the Scorpius Rex does kind of show off that the, the dinosaur, let's say, uh, does actually have an opposable thumb in my opinion. Now we also know it's supposed to be a fa failed hybrid since it was the first hybrid ever created. So to potentially speed up the process or try and create an easier DNA form and basis to create a creature, maybe Dr. Wu actually did in fact use human DNA and fused it with dinosaur DNA so he understands it better. I believe understanding genetical code of humans is a lot easier than understanding genetical code of ancient reptiles that we probably don't even knew exist to be honest. So in my opinion, to kind of speed up the process of creating the Scorpius Rex, I wouldn't have put past the idea of Wu putting a dash of human DNA in there so he's able to create the Scorpius Rex a lot quicker. Obviously, it didn't turn out quite as he imagined, and same with Simon Masrani. They both didn't really like the look of it, and especially with the idea of it, it's, it's a really good idea, but the way it turned out, both emotionally and the look of it, just doesn't really look amazing, and we can understand that they both didn't want something of the sorts, and that's probably down to the human DNA. Maybe human DNA isn't supposed to be mixed with other animals. Now, we can talk hours upon hours about how human DNA was created, but if we were to talk about a different fandom or a different sort of movie basis, we have a TV show here in the UK a few years back in like 2008 called Primeval. Primeval personally for me was an incredible show, but later down the line in the series we can see there's a creature called the Future Predator. Now the Future Predator was an evolved predator on the human earth and it was actually said to be evolving more into a humanoid creature. Now, if we were to compare the Scorpius Rex and the Future Predator from Primeval, personally to me, they seem like the exact same creature. They would hunt, kill no matter what. They had infrared uh, eyesight as well, so they were attracted to heat and fire and everything of the sorts as well. So personally to me, they are very similar. Now, again, the Primeval Future Predator did evolve to become more humanoid. No, not that it was fused with humanoid DNA or anything like that, but maybe the Scorpius Rex was actually fused with humanoid DNA and sped up the process of becoming a future predator type of thing and that's kind of how it's going because 
If you just look at the chest of this creature, the way the arms move, the way it stands, walks, and stands on its hind legs quite often, very comfortably as well, kind of makes me question whether or not human DNA was in fact used for this weird, weird hybrid. Now, when we do talk about somewhat Jurassic Park, I wouldn't say this is canon at all. However, Jurassic Park 4, if you guys didn't know what Jurassic Park 4 was originally supposed to be, it was in fact supposed to be human and dinosaur hybrids. That would kind of take over the world, I know. Crazy, crazy film if we were to think about it. Thank God that didn't become a Jurassic Park movie. However, if we were to look at the concept art, the early concept art regarding the John Sayle script for Jurassic Park 4, we can clearly see where they have kind of taken some features from the humanoid weird dinosaur creatures and put it into the Scorpius Rex, specifically the skull. I don't know about you guys, but it does look very similar. Now, I know some producers on Camp Cretaceous and also Jurassic World still like that script and they still like the idea from it. So if they were to pitch in their ideas something like, oh, we have these concept arts of human creatures maybe we can make it more humanoid in a way since it's the first hybrid dinosaur ever created maybe something weird like that was pitched and that's the whole reason why the scorpius rex does look potentially similar to the concept art from the john sale script for jurassic park 4 now i don't know about you guys personally but i'm leaning towards the fact that maybe in fact the scorpius rex did have a touch not a lot but a touch of human dna in its dna sequence it would be really cool to see if we get any information regarding this, however, since the hybrids are now gone and I'm pretty sure the Scorpius Rex was the last of the hybrids, I think it's safe to say that we will not be getting any hybrids anytime soon. But maybe some more information regarding the hybrids on the computers in Jurassic World and a little bit more on the DNA sequence of the Scorpius Rex. As far as we know, the only DNA sequence we know of is that it was named after the scorpion fish. So we don't really know the DNA sequence. We can speculate it could be Spinosaurus, Velociraptor, T-Rex and Carnotaurus. But ultimately, it does look like something else was spliced in its DNA. Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to smash that like button. And let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below as to whether or not the Scorpius Rex had human DNA. But in the meantime, subscribe if you're new, stay safe out there, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here, as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.